Well, let's just continue our little explore of this island and Far Cry 3. We've got a lovely little bush on the left there, a beautiful cliff face, and a relic in a hut. Now, relics look kind of cool. Relics have their own little uh, stats page, but they don't really do a lot in Far Cry 3. They don't really have much power. So you know what we've got to do. Now, I've made quite a few Far Cry 3 modded videos uh, so far, um, and they, there are some truly outstanding mods available for um, Far Cry. I've looked at uh, Far Cry Rebalanced, I've looked at the 30 Days mod, I've looked at Ziggy's. Um, if I've missed any out, I'm sorry, but you know, I've looked at a, a whole bunch of them, and they've been brilliant. They've, they've brought in some really lovely gameplay changes, they've brought in some really lovely uh, ways to make the game harder, more challenging, uh, more unique, um, and, and lots of things like that but essentially all of those mods kind of do the same job they take the vanilla game and make it loads loads better and and you know if you if you haven't played Far Cry before I would definitely recommend you grab one of those mods have a look at all of the, or have a look at the modded videos that I've made so far and have a look through see what you fancy and play them but they do all kind of do the same thing they make the original game just kind of better but if you look carefully this time when I liberated this outpost I didn't get any XP and you're gonna notice the same thing in this next clip because as I climb this tower as you would normally do in the game and uh, to, to unlock the map and things like that you actually get a really hefty XP bonus for climbing these towers and you get a hefty XP bonus for um, liberating those outposts as you would especially if you can sneak it as well but in this mod that I'm looking at today those XP bonuses have been removed completely. You will not get any XP um, for, for doing towers, you will not get any XP for liberating outposts, because this is the Explorer mod. The whole point of this mod is to force you to explore the island to uh, find all of the relics and to find all of the like letters of the damned, you know those kind of Japanese soldier letters, because this mod makes those items your biggest source of XP in the game, which is a really, really nice change from all of the mods, uh, from most of the compilation mods we have seen so far. This Meop mod isn't just saying, let's just change up what we've got already, let's just kind of improve the game. It is saying, let's make the game slightly different. Let's make it based around exploration, getting in a car, driving around the island, um, seeing, find, seeing and finding everything else that we have got to offer. Now, um, this mod is actually kind of built on top of uh, Far Cry 3 Rebalanced, which was made by uh, Mr. Pingy. So uh, partial credit for this mod has to go to has to go to him. But the uh, the, the main person behind uh, this particular mod um, is a brilliant name. It's Robina Frubista, and I hope I pronounced that um, correctly. Um, and uh, what what uh, what Robina has done is removed XP for a lot of basic tasks and doubled the XP for any relic you collect and any um um, letter of the damned you collect um, as well and this has the the knock-on effect of forcing you to visit a lot more locations than you would normally on on on, on a playthrough um, you know there, there are if you have collected some relics you'll know that some of them are underwater some of them are underground some of them are just kind of lying around and this game will force you this mod sorry will force you to visit um, so many more of those locations if you want to level up and of course in in in, in Far Cry you want to level up it even forces you to deal with some puzzles like this when you kind of you, you know you're on top of um, you know you're on top of a relic but you can't quite find the door it actually forces you to spend some time searching around the area um, looking for alternative entrances even putting C4 on things um, because um, it, it's adding a, it's adding a new gameplay dynamic now I have to confess I am not one of those players that is a completionist um, I've got one of my best mates who um, plays loads of games and he absolutely is he will try and get every single trophy every single medal every single whatever the game has to throw at him and that's brilliant if you are one of those players but I'm not so um, I more or less ignored relics in my um, first playthrough of Far Cry 3 they, they were quite cool but I didn't need to get them so I didn't whereas this mod turns that on its head and and um, allows me to complete the game as normal, allows me to fight the bad guys, allows me to um, 
en enjoy all, all of the little kind of mod additions that came with Mr. Pinky's Rebalance, but it also forces me to get those relics, because if I don't get XP, then I'm not going to be able to level up. If I don't level up, I'm not able to unlock um, all those things like, you know, takedowns and being extra sneaky and all that kind of stuff, which, as you'll know, as the game goes on, you'll need a lot of those skills if you want to uh, progress in the game. Now you do still receive um, XP in this mod for um, killing bad guys and completing missions, um, which um, it, which is good because that means you you do still um, level up to an extent, or you will you will still get a few levels down um, with with uh, by by just kind of playing through the games. But of course, at any time you can just break off, spend a bit of time um, skinning animals, hunting for plants, and now hunting for relics because there are there are advantages to it as well. And and it, in some ways, it actually completes that circle because you, in the Far Cry Three, you hunt animals animals because you need um, the skins to make your items. You hunt plants because you need the drugs and now you hunt relics because you need the XP. It gives everything um, it, uh, more, more purpose. Um, there are also um, a, a bunch of other um, additions to to this mod because this is obviously a compilation mod as well. Um, you, it, ha it skips the start the, um, and puts you in the Amanki village uh, from, from the beginning. It unlocks the second island, it unlocks the wingsuit, it uh, reduces fall damage damage, um, it uh, stops enemies dropping their weapons, which means you have to, again, kind of scavenge a bit more ammo, um, and, a whole, and a whole bunch of things like that. So this isn't just like a one-trick mod, um, it is um, definitely a, a compilation mod which you can enjoy playing all the way through. And here's, as, as I said earlier, here's a clip of me um, picking up one of those uh, letters as well, which uh, actually now doesn't just give you 500 XP like the relics do, this actually gave me a, a whopping 1,000 uh, um, XP, which was fantastic. Um, the installation is absolutely standard for a Far Cry mod. Um, it, I've done a video on installation of Far Cry 3 mods. Um, check that out. It's in the playlist. Um, but basically, you, you, you stick it in your folder. Um, I might like to see uh, the the XP being br taken to some of the games as well, because um, I never really found much reason to go and play the knife games, the racing games. So it might be interesting to even remove XP from kills and things and put them all into games and things like that. Just a suggestion for the mod maker uh, again to kind of give more uh, purpose to um, the other parts of Far, Far, Far Cry 3. Now there's two versions of this mod. Um, there's normal and then there's hardcore. Um, in normal you still have access to the maps that you can buy from um, the shop and relics will appear on your mini map when you're just walking around. In hardcore mode they're not there and essentially you're just kind of exploring so th there's a big difference between the, those those two mods. I mean it, 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 in hardcore mode basically you're you basically have to kind of explore every single inch of the island, whereas in the normal one you can just kind of walk around, and if you see something in your minimap, you can think great, or you can even um, put the put the uh, put the money into the investment, grab the maps, and then go hunting um, for XP, which again puts a nice link between um, money and um, XP as well, because you can use your money to buy the maps, which gives you the XP. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little look at Explorer Mod by uh, Robina Fortista. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, then do please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, check out the playlists for um, all of my other Far Cry 3 modded videos. Um, and, of course, uh, do head over to uh, Nexus Mods, um, where you can pick up Explorer Mod and do endorse the mod if you in, um, play it and you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.